Alrighty, so this isn't a beer review per se. This is more for me because it's part of an assignment for one of my classes. I think that really sums up the intro. But let's do this, guys. We got a mystery beer here, and I'm evaluating it to see if it's ready to be sent out into the wild. This is all for assignment purposes and scientific research. This is, uh, this is schoolwork for me. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Baruski, for not a beer review, but what this video is, is not mainly for content purposes, but mainly for me um, to actually check off a box for, uh, for, 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 uh, for an assignment I'm working on for, my, for one of my classes here. Uh, the assignment is, well, we are given, each student is given three sample beers. I have sample four, apparently. Um, we're given a, a OG and an FG of a, uh, of a beer, and we're trying to figure out, is this beer ready to be, you know, sent out into the world, uh, you know, for purchase, uh, per se. So, I have sample beer four here. No idea what it is. Know the color of it, kind of. It's a darker style of beer because I already did uh, some plating um, applications on, on different uh, medias to see what kind of growth was uh, that the, the, there may or may not be. Um, so I have a sneak peek on that. But yes, we got sample beer four brewed at the uh, at the college brewery here. Um, but no other information, just the OG and the FG. Um, which were the OG, the original gravity being 1070 and the final gravity being 1016. So I have a calculator here and the ABV on this particular bad boy, I think it's, you take your OG, your minus your FG. 10.16? Yeah, 1.6. And you need to multiply that by 131.25. Gives you about 7.08, 7.1% ABV on this particular bad boy here. But what I'm doing as we crack it open is trying to figure out are there weird off flavors in this particular beer? We're not going for, you know, style or you're not going for particular style. We're not going for this, the flavors that I, like good flavors that I get. We're looking for bad things. Let's pour this bad boy up. As you can see, it is fairly dark. We're not going to do the whole thing, but we're going to take a look at it. We don't really don't have to go over the look of it, but here you go. Fairly dark, nice light, light to medium brown head on top. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more scientific, but it's kind of going to follow the same format as a review. On the nose. Now, this is kind of the issue here uh, with scientific experiments. I'm looking for something. I already have a preconceived notion that there may or may not be something wrong with this beer, which can really fuck up your sensory evaluation because you are already automatically creating a lot of bias going into this. I already have a ton of bias. I'm thinking there's something wrong with this beer. There could be absolutely nothing wrong with this beer, but part of my brain is already primed to pick bad things out. So. Is it trustworthy? Is it like 100% foolproof? Not at all. On the nose. Dark fruits, little chocolatey. Maybe a slight touch of roast in there, but not really. I don't think it's a stout. But then again, it could be. Who the fuck knows? I really don't care. I'm just trying to see if there's anything wrong with this. But the nose smell fa smells fairly fine. Maybe a little weak, but nothing that really stands out. I'm not getting any like diacetyl, or like buttery flavors, no green apple, no corn, no cooked cabbage, no band-aids. Nothing like that. M maybe a little bit of weaker of a nose compared to what I'm kind of basing it off of, but I have nothing to base it off of. So there in itself is like a, uh, it's not an oxymoron, but like a, 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 a paradox. 
Just rolling it around, really nothing crazy coming off of it. Smells kind of fine to me. Yeah, notes of, I don't know, coffee, I don't know. Lightly roasty, lightly chocolatey, but nothing too, too, too in your face. It's a little, uh, a little faint, to be completely honest. Interesting. It smells fine. A little bit of dark fruits going on. Let's dive in. Flavor-wise, not too bad. Dark fruits. Flat. Fairly flat. Yeah, quite low CO2 volume uh, on this particular one. As you can see, there is some head still on the beer. Uh, not, not, not a lot, but as for the mouthfeel, it seems fairly fa fairly low carb to, to compare to uh, other beers. Probably falls in line with a stout, but... Flavor-wise, hot alcohols, for sure. Hot alcohols... Um, a little chocolatey, a little roasty, uh, but that, again, not nothing too upfront. Um, a little bit of like a uh, like, like a darker fruit, closer to like, like dates or raisins per se, but then a little chocolate or uh, ch chocolate or chocolatey, uh, roasty uh, backbone. But none of the flavors are really that they don't stand out too too much uh, per se. Mm-hmm. Just hot. Alcohols. Um, dark fruit notes. Somewhat chocolatey. Slightly roasty. It's really all it. Kind of like elements of, per se, like a, almost like a Belgian quad on those dark fruit side of things with the hot, the higher alcohol uh, presence, per se. And because the roastiness and the chocolateiness is so much, uh, it is a lot lower than I would have initially thought. Then again, I have no idea what this beer is. Truth be told, you can see the can. All it says is sample four, and then you have the general uh, Niagara College uh, small batch uh, reading, which says beer and education a pairing that has been fermenting for generations. We put our heads together to craft some truly some something truly unique. The Niagara College Teaching Brewery. Just like our beer, it's the one, it's the only one of its kind. Please drink responsibly, blah, blah, blah. Labels by H. Moore Printing Services, LTD, sample four, that's all you get. No ABV, no IBU, no can on date, no nothing on this here. But not too, too bad. A, a little bit of spice going on in here too. Actually, now, 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 now that I kind of think of it, spice is in kind of like a baking spice sort of thing. Not clove. No, not not no 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 clove going on. Not really cinnamon. Maybe nutmeg. Maybe a touch of allspice per se, but nothing that's really definitive on this beer. Everything's coming out fairly well. Uh, barely roasty, hints of chocolate. Excuse me, dark fruits. A um, little bit of spice, a lot of hot alcohols, lower carbonation kind of thing. Nose is just more alcohol. Again, no real spice, but kind of similar, cakeish, kind of like, kind of similar to like a fruit cake. Now that I kind of think about it, but still, the alcohol portion on here is definitely shining through, letting you know it is boozing. What I say, yeah, seven point one was it? I think it was like seven point eight. Oh, or something like that. What was it? 
7.1%. So, it is higher in the ABV department. You know, I'm probably going to pour the rest of this beer just so I can uh, go back and look at this video and reevaluate because this is going to be part of my project. I want to include this video uh, with my project so there's like a first hand account. Uh, so it's not just going to be writing stuff out. But it looks fine. It smells fine. Again, a little chocolatey, a little cakey. Almost like, not carrot cake, but like take carrot cake minus the carrots out of it. Sort of that, that, that brown cake uh, sort of thing. Kind of reminds you of that a little bit on the nose. No real spice compared to the, uh, compared to the flavor off the nose. Slightly, again, little chocolatey, like a, uh, like a semi-sweet, uh, chocolate. Again, low carbonation, uh, but not, I don't think, I don't think unintentionally low. It's not bad, a little cloying, a little cloyingly sweet as well, just, there's something about it, not, not slick, but just syrupy per se, Sy syrupy mouthfeel, almost. But I'm not detecting any really off flavors per se. No, I'm not getting anything like that. No butteriness, no green apple, no medicinal, uh, no cooked corn, no cooked cabbage, um, no oxidization going on, I don't think. Nothing that not, 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 nothing that I can pick up per, uh, personally. Just a uh, just a darker style of beer. It's not a stout. It's not a Belgian. The spice it's it, it's it's some sort of ale. It's it's not. I don't. Know, I'm I'm guessing it, it's obviously an ale. I want to say it's definitely not a lot. It's definitely not a lager based beer, um, per se. But it's not a stout because it doesn't have that big roastiness that a stout does. If it is a stout, well, it's pretty far off from a stout I'm not too sure not too sure what style it is it's not a Belgian it's not a stout um, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe someone along the lines of like a winter like, like not a winter um, what am I saying I'm just trying to get Christmas in my mind from the ho happy holidays um, but it has aspects of with the spice in here of like a spiced beer and spiced beers are usually in, in between they were from fall to winter season somewhere around there seeing the christmas thing on here want to put it maybe more in like late november early december uh, or early to mid december sort of a, 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 a you know formation of it um of, of the beer itself. But I'm not too sure. It's not a stout. Definitely not a Belgian, but qualities of both per se. Chocolatey light roast from a stout, dark fruits and alcohol hotness or heat uh, from a Belgian with that added spice gives gives me an inclination of like a dark spiced, dark spiced ale uh, per se. But again, those hot alcohols and the dark fruits really are like the standout characteristics off of this particular beer. Again, on the nose, dark fruits and alcohol. <laughs> Flavors. Alcohol. Dark fruits. A little hints of spice going on. Slight chocolate, very low to minimal roast, no off flavors, no off smells. The only thing that that, that is uh, outstanding in, in, a, in a negative light, per se, is the higher presence of alcohol, and also um, the 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 the, the uh, lo lower carbonation volumes or perceived carbonation volumes. Seven seven percent. That's that's, you know, that's a boozy beer, for sure. Um, but this is kind of tasting more like, 
or not tasting more, but the, 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 the alcohol intensity of it is coming across as some some that should be in maybe, maybe like the nines to 12, nah, not 12, nine to 11 ish uh, percent. Especially very, when I say like very Belgian y in that sense, where they're gonna, they usually have that perceived alcoholness, uh, that alcohol note uh, coming at you a little bit harder and heavier. Um, or even come similar to a like, like a Russian Imperial Stout in that alcohol heat. But even those, those are higher than seven. Those are usually around like eight to ten, uh, eight to twelve, even. But yeah, th those two are the biggest things that stand out. High ABV, or high high alcohol, high, high hot alcohols, and low CO2 vols. I kind of like where the carbonation is standing for this beer. If it, I, w I would say I would want to increase just maybe a touch more, but it's not bad. It's still a very smooth, elegant, not overly heavy beer. Even though it's a little syrupy on the mouthfeel, it doesn't sit heavy in the stomach. And I've been drinking this for what? What's the timer at? Like 10 minutes? A little over 10, 13 minutes? It's, 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 it's going down fairly smooth, a fairly enjoyable beer. Nonetheless, then again, I'm a big fan of, of darker beers with that higher, you know, hot alcohol sort of presence. Um, but if you're not like that, this may turn you off. But then again, you're probably not getting it because this is a, a test beer. But just kind of, kind of trying to uh, relate it to uh, to the viewers. I think the hardest part out of this whole uh, portion of, of the project is gonna be reviewing this video and writing out notes. But hopefully, hopefully, and Nate, if you are watching this, because I, 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 I know you, uh, you, you check out the Ruski's uh, channel here, um, this video is gonna be, well obviously if you're seeing it, you probably got it off of uh, the, uh, the, the submission of the assignment, but um, at least you're getting a first hand look at the process rather than just reading, uh, writing from, from, you know, from experiences. Cause I don't know, I have this little advantage of, of doing videos and it's helped out. You know what, now I'm kind of switching gears. I'm just talking generally to everybody, but doing videos has really helped out in this program uh, for a number of reasons. Got a few assignments done where I didn't have to write stuff out because I've already shot a video on a certain topic. I think it was, what was it? third semester yeah third semester we had to write about an experience um at a brewery um or something like that i forget what the assignment was. It, was it was something along the lines of writing about an experience at a brewery or an outing and i'm just like well missed uh, you know to my professor i'm like do i have to write this out because i already have a whole video on an outing and all of that fun jazz that pertains exactly to what the assignment said and she's like yes you can submit that. But if it doesn't match up, you're going to get bad marks. I'm like, cool, let's do it. Send in the thing, send in the video, just send a link. Didn't have to do no two page write up. She was like, this is perfect. This matched up perfectly. I'm like, thank you. Took that gamble. That works out. Video is your friend sometimes. So if you're in a, in, in, in a, uh, um, a classroom setting where you do video on the side, YouTube or what have you, and you have an assignment, and you have a video that matches with that assignment, use that to your advantage. It doesn't hurt to ask. It does not hurt to ask. Now, that's not me saying I'm gonna replace this whole, you know, the whole descriptive uh, or, or uh, uh, sensory analytic portion of writing with a video, no. Because I think that's just a little bit cheating. Not cheating, but you know, gaming the system per se. But this does help, having a video backup does help or a video edition does help uh, with conveying a message over. Now I'm getting a little off topic and a little rambling and whatnot, so don't dock me marks on this little rambly ramble spiel. But not a bad beer. Again, before that final sip to wrap things up, we got a seven, so about 7.1% uh, beer here. Darker beer, not a stout because um, the roast the chocolate are a lot lower than what you would find in the stout. Same with the body and mouthfeel. Does not sit heavy. A little syrupy uh, for the mouthfeel. 
hotter alcohols pertaining more to uh, either like a Belgian quad per se or uh, reminiscent of like a Russian Imperial Stout at 8 to 11 per, uh, 8 to 12 percent ABV uh, alcohol comparison or at least uh, you know uh, 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 taste of alcohol. Does that make sense? Taste of alcohol. We'll go with that. Perceived alcohol uh, flavor. Um, darker fruits, again, akin to like some of your darker uh, Belgian beers per se. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which ones, but I'm going between dates, figs, and possibly raisins uh, on that end. A little bit of spice, not on the nose, but more on the flavor, but very, very, very minimal, just little wisps here and there, just like an essence of, of baking spices, allspice, nutmeg seem to be the two that stand out. No cinnamon, clove definitely not. I don't know why I thought about that. I was thinking of spice and clove and whatever. Excuse me. Um, but other than that, what else? Chocolate, a little bit there. Coffee, no coffee. Roast, very, very minimal. I'm thinking, I'm gonna take a wild guess. Take a wild guess and say it's a dark spiced ale. Some sort of dark spiced ale, or at least that's what they were going for. It's not a Belgian, it's not a stout, but that hint of spice really makes me think it's some sort of spiced beer per se, or at least that's what that's what uh, the the, uh, the the brewer recipe designer would kind of go in for. That's just me. Overall, no real off flavors, DMS. No um, diacetyl, no green apples, no cor cooked corn, cooked cabbage, no medicinal, no nothing like that. Nothing that's really off with this beer. The only two things that I can really comment on which make it seem or that are outlier flavors are the hot uh, alcohols for actual alcohol content. It's 7%, 7.1, and it tastes more like a 8 to 11. Uh, ABV what you would find in that and then the lower carbonation volumes It seems like it's a lower co2 vol than maybe what was wanted or this just fits the style perfectly I'm not too sure, but those are the only two things hot alcohols low carbs or low carbonation And that's it with that said guys cheers on the final sip. We're not doing ratings because this isn't a review We'll just fuck off Maybe I shouldn't add that word into a Whatever Anyway, not a bad beer. Not a bad beer at all. Not a bad beer. Anyway, guys, that's more or less it for me. That's uh, that's what I need to get done. I got I got part of assignment done, and look what I get to do. I get to enjoy a beer, get to shoot a video, get to post that video on YouTube, and also send it in with an assignment later down the road. What's better than that? What is better than that? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my little analytic um, you know, insight into, in, in just a little bit of insight into one of the assignments that I'm working on, uh, in this fourth semester of the, uh, brewing program at Niagara College. Pretty fun. You know what? It? It's, uh, it's, 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 it's not a tough assignment, I don't think. It's, it's a little bit, um, daunting because it is your fourth semester and you're just like, these really count. I mean, everything counts. I don't know. I'm rambling again. I'm not going to ramble. But yeah. That was fun, nothing crazy at fault, just hot alcohols, uh, low carbonation volumes. That's it, solid beer. I'm gonna wrap this up, I wanna go relax. It's 10.35 right now and uh, tomorrow's a day of studying but I still got a couple beers in the fridge. So with that said guys, that's gonna do it for me, me personally, like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.